Sometimes when we're solving a problem that has fractions, it will also have parentheses. When there are parentheses involved, we need to do, we need to get rid of those parentheses before we clear the fractions. In other words, we must distribute through parentheses before we clear fractions. Fortunately, it's easy to distribute through parentheses and multiply three-halves times five-ninths. We can do a little reducing, a three and the nine leaving behind a three, so this is going to be five-sixths. Three-halves times five-ninths x is five-sixths x. Plus, we're also multiplying the three-halves times four over twenty-seven. When we reduce the three with the twenty-seven, we are left with a nine. And the four with the two, we're left with a two. We get two ninths equals three. Now that we have cleared the parentheses by distributing, now we are able to clear the fractions. This must happen in order. Clear the parentheses, then clear the fractions. The least common denominator between six and nine is eighteen. So we will multiply each term on both sides by eighteen. Again, notice we're also multiplying the three by eighteen because it is a term. We are multiplying every term, not just fractions, but every term by eighteen. When we do this, we can reduce the eighteen over six reduces to three, and three times five x is fifteen x. Plus, the eighteen over nine reduces to two. Two times two is four, equals three times eighteen is fifty-four. And we now have a simple two-step equation we can solve for our variable. Getting rid of the four positives with four negatives, and we're left with fifteen x equals fifty, and finally, dividing both sides by fifteen, the x is alone, and we can reduce that fraction, fifty, 50 over fifteen, by dividing by five to get ten thirds for our final solution. Again, the order is very important when we have fractions and parentheses. Clear the parentheses first by distributing, then clear the fraction second by multiplying by the LCD and reducing. If you can keep those two steps in order, you can solve some very involved problems with fractions and parentheses.